quite as cosmopolitan, quite as learned as found in it, and yet he uses his learning differently. He uses it very often by concealing it in fact. Robert Frost says at the time that he is publishing a boy's will, I repeat a boy's will which is a poetry collection by Robert Frost to a friend and he quotes, you must not take me even if I now proceed to brag a bit about my exploits as a poet. There is one qualifying fact always to bear in mind. There is a kind of success called of steam. Of steam. And it butters no parsnip. It means a success with a critical few who are supposed to know. But really to arrive where I can stand on my legs as a poet and nothing else. I must get outside that circle to the general reader who buys book in their thousands. I may not be able to do that but I believe in doing it. Don't you doubt me there. I want to be a poet for all shorts and kinds. I want to reach out and would if it were a thing I could do. If it were a thing I could do. By taking thoughts. Well, moving on, Frost wishes to be as subtle as to steam altogether obvious. It's not just that he seems obvious but is really subtle rather in subtlety shows itself in his deliberate concealment of it, in the ways in which he masks himself in obviousness. Now, talking more about this American poet and his poetry, he is called New England's poet. I repeat, New England's poet. And this was a question in UGC net wherein they asked that New England poet is a term given to whom? And the answer was Robert Frost. Well, moving on further, we also understand that Robert Frost poems are very approachable and very connective. The reason behind it is that he is talking about real life incidences and experiences and he is observing the society and then writing very simple and easy to understand poems and that is why we find that Robert Frost poetry is there in the school curriculum as well. Two roads diverged in a wood and I I took the one less travelled by. I repeat, two roads diverged in a wood and I, I took the one less travelled by. These beautiful lines are from the poem The Road Not Taken by Robert Frost which talks about choices. The poem describes how choice is inevitable. Now, let us read the poem, The Road Not Taken by Robert Frost. Two roads diverged in a yellow wood, and sorry, I could not travel both and be one traveller. Long I stood and looked down one as far as I could, to where it bent in the undergrowth, then took the other as just as fair and having perhaps the better claim because it was crazy and wanted wear. though as for that the passing there 
had warned them really about and both that morning equally lay in leaves no step had trodden back oh i keep the first for another day yet knowing how way leads on to way i doubted if i should ever come back i shall be telling this with a sign where somewhere ages and ages hence two roads diverged in a wood and i took the one less traveled by and that has made all the difference so here's the poem the road not taken by robert frost in my next audio lecture i'll be dealing with the explanation of the poem thank you